Hello, today I'm going to do a review of a new tripod that I've just bought and I've been looking for something mobile and lightweight for a little while for doing videos just like this. I mean I've got a big chunky tripod in my studio for when I'm using big cameras and big rigs and things like that but I need something a bit more portable um, and something I can use at home but it needed to be sturdy enough that if I wanted to take it on my travels something that could handle a slider in particular. So we're gonna test that out now. It's just arrived. I have previously opened it to have a quick look at it, but I'll be showing you exactly what's included and then I'll be showing you the setup and if it can handle a little bit of a rig on top. So let's open it up, take a look inside. So first of all, it comes with a nice little carry case. I don't know how you pronounce the name of the company. Uh, Zomai, Zomai, something like that. Um, but I've noticed that there's a lot of these tripods, uh, this brand online, they've got a few different varieties of it and it seems like a lot of them are the same one but just in different colours. So um, I got this one from eBay and I think I paid something like £22. So I wasn't really expecting much for £22. Well let's take a look and see what we've got. So we've got a user guide in here. I've just had a little browse through it. The instructions seem very straightforward, but I mean, most of these tripods are pretty much set up the same. Now, first, first of all, you can feel that it's, it's a mixture of what looks like aluminium and, and plastic, but it, the plastic parts do seem quite tough. It's got a nice bit of foam carry handles on the top there. And the difference with, with this one and a lot of these sort of uh, portable tripods that I've used over the years, is it's got a nice little locking mechanism in the middle there, which gives it a lot, a lot more strength in its core. It extends out and all of the, the leg parts are aluminium. And it's got some good height to it as well. Not only do the legs have some good height, but you can extend it even further with the little toggle in the middle there, which has its own lock as well. A lot of these cheap tripods don't have a lock there, and you end up having to use the little toggle to kind of stop it from spinning around when it's got some weight on it. So this one, it's it's actually, if anything, it's quite stiff, but I suppose that'll, be, that'll loosen up over time. But I mean, you don't mind that when it's sturdy. And I've noticed as well, it's got, it's got metal sections throughout it which must be giving it some extra reinforcement through the neck there which is reassuring and it feels solid and it's also got a hook in the middle of there that i'm assuming is for like weights and things like that so if you're shooting something like a time lapse and you don't want it to be shaking around so much you can add a bit of extra weight on there it's got the um the tilt arm on the side there nice and sturdy metal center and it's got a locking knob on the side there for the actual twizzle. It's got a decent quick release plate, which is plastic, but it feels solid enough. And we'll put that onto the uh, slider in a minute. And I've also got a teleprompter that we'll try it on as well, because I often do sort of last minute promos and stuff like that, where people send me through a script and I need to teleprompt it. So let's test that out now and take a look. So here's my slider. I've not put my camera on it because I'm obviously using it to film this, but I've just noticed on the quick release plate, there's one thing that I don't like, and it's got a little plastic arm there, which when you tighten it up, I could see if you if you were a bit overzealous with your, uh, with the power, you could easily snap that off. But saying that, I'm not sure whether it's got a metal pin through it. Yeah, it's got a metal pin, but still, that being plastic, that seems like a little bit of a shortcut. But, you know, it's 20 pound at the end of the day. So let's get this on and see how sturdy it is, because functionality at the end of the day is what we're all about. So make sure everything's locked off. Okay, that's all locked off there. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm on, uh, I'm standing on a half on a rug and half on a hard floor, so it's not the, it's not the most stable foundation. But what I want to see is if it, if it tilts, because I've had a couple where, a couple of tripods where you can't put any weight on there because it just tilts straight away. So I'll put a little bit of pressure with my hand just to feel whether it tilts. There's a little bit there. You can see that, it's just moving a little bit. But still, it's pretty. I mean, that'll work fine with a bit of, a bit of extra support on the ends there. It's so much better than the previous tripod I had. So yeah, it's not perfect, 
but like I say, it's 20 pounds and that would be more than enough for me on my travels. I'm not gonna be using anything bigger than, than this. So let's try with the teleprompter hood. Well, there's absolutely no problems at all with the teleprompter. I've added my audio recorder there on the back just to give it a bit of weight, just to see what it's like with the counterbalance. But I mean, that is, that's as sturdy as I'd ever need it. So while we're talking about it, the, um, the actual movement of the head, I mean, I know it's not a fluid head, but it is smooth. It's smooth enough for a travel tripod, that's for sure. And again, and also with the, um, with the tilt, with it fully loosened, loosened off, it's still got a little bit of grip, but it's a smooth, smooth movement throughout. Which again, on some cheap tripods, you, you never usually get that. So overall, I must say that I'm really impressed with this Zomi, Zomai, Zomi, whatever it's called. Um, and over the coming months, I'm sure I'll get lots of use out of it. I've used cheaper, less sturdier tripods for years before and not had any problems. And I can't see anything on this that would indicate that it's going to give me any problems in the future. And like I said, the handles are a nice little addition. And overall, it just feels solid. So that's my review for this tripod. Um, if you want to see some more reviews in the future, I'll be doing a little review on some of my audio equipment. Um, I don't just do camera equipment, I do all sorts of bits and bobs, but there will be a fair, fair bit of camera equipment because I'm always upgrading stuff, replacing stuff. Please subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you again on another video.